Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to another episode of Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. As you can see, Donald and Goofy are no longer with us. We're all on our own, because Sora has apparently turned into a jerk <laughs> going up to Castle Oblivion. It's not that it makes you lose your memories, you just become more and more irritable the more the higher up you go. Anyhow, today we are entering the new world that we got from the card inside Riku's Good Luck Charm. It's Destiny Islands! You remember the first world in the Kingdom Hearts uh, 1? Yeah, we actually get to go back here today. I'm not going crazy, right? I know exactly where this is. Yeah! This is our island, where Namanae and I used to play together! Hey! What's up, Sora? So what you want to do today? Hey guys! Am I glad to see you? Uh... Uh, what? We got food on our faces? Please, Waka. Only you could be dumb enough to not notice food stuck to your face. Hey, whoa! That's hitting below the belt, yeah? I don't know, Waka. I think Selfie's on the mark. Aw, oh, not you two, Titus. Oh yeah, you're Selfie, Waka, and Titus. That's who you are. I forgot their name. Oh, I forgot the girl's name anyways. You hit your head? No, uh, just thinking aloud. I know, you're thinking about her again. Oh, I get it. Yeah, he's like a total zombie when she's on his mind. That would explain why he's acting all funny towards us. I bet you want us to take a hike so you two can be alone, huh? Um, I guess. Alright, alright. We'll disappear for a while. Go get her, cowboy. We'll try to be quiet while we spy on you. <laughs> hey, Sora's serious. Give the man some room. Let's play Blitzball, man. <laughs> Just kidding. See you later, Sora. That's more interaction that they have with Sora than they did in the first game. And we get the key of beginnings. Welcome to Destiny Islands. Second to last world in the game. Alright, so right now we've got our old deck. We have a little extra CP now, so... What you can do is, at this screen, if you tap A... You can just move the deck down. I'm gonna see if I can equip another Quake. So that, plus Simba, and then any magic card. Nice. Alright. So I'm pretty sure most of the enemies here are ground-based, so I think Quake is gonna work really well. We got Tornado Steps. Oh, I forgot about Dark Balls. They're gonna be annoying to deal with. I love the music in this world, though. Night of Fate. Okay, I forgot about all the aerial enemies in this world, actually. Here we go! I was waiting for the lotus flowers. Aw, two quakes is not quite enough to kill them, that's annoying. I hoped we would have had the final slate of the game by now, which is really, really good. But not yet. Oh, we can learn a new slate here, though. Yes! Here we go! Finally! Mega Flare! Incinerate all enemies in a wide area. Mushu and two fire cards. Yes! <laughs> Alright. This is what I've been waiting for. Alright. Well, I still only have one Mushu, which is not great. Now we equip two fire cards along with that. Oh, 
Hit that, followed by the Red Noct... Oh, no, not the Red Nocturne card. That's good. You're about to see how ridiculously overpowered Mega Flare is. Insta-kills pretty much everything on screen. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Now that we have Mega Flare, I'm going to remove our Quakes, because actually there are a lot of aerial enemies in here. Then I'm going to move the Mega Ether Slate up here, just so I can do uh, Mega Flare multiple times in a row. It's not an insta-kill all the time, but it's an insta-kill for a lot of enemies. And it's the most powerful slate in the game by far. Oh! We have a maximum amount of map cards, well let's fix that. Get out of here, almighty darkness. Get out of here, black room. Get out of here, white room. Get out of here, mingling worlds. Also, if we check the map, Destiny Islands is fairly large. Fire! Oh no! I missed with Mega Flare, because you actually have to hit an enemy with the fireball for it to go off. Let's start with a Calm Bounty. Ooh yeah! Moogle points. Because believe me, I would love to get another Mushu. Because Mushu by himself is terrible. Ooh, we learned Judgment! Nice! Judgment! Hurl the Keyblade toward the enemy for multiple attacks. Arrow, any attack card, any attack card. It's like Strike Raid, but it actually homes in on enemies, which is pretty cool. Ooh, another level up. Let's upgrade HP. We really should. Our HP is pretty low still. And we get a cure. Alright. No new slates. Ooh, the Tornado Step enemy card. That's a fairly common one. Tornado Step, subtract two from the reload counter. So basically, if your reload counter is at free and you really need to get it down, Tornado Step can be useful for that. Oh, I also didn't show off Mega Potion, quick load all attack cards and reset the reload counter. Also another way to reset the reload counter when it's too full. Okay, still haven't gotten the Twilight Town slash Destiny Islands keyblade yet, and I'm getting a little worried about that. Alright, we're at the Key of Beginnings door. We need a 2 card, followed by an 8 card. Feeble Darkness, Almighty Darkness, Key of Beginnings card. This has two different events. Hey Sora! What's the big rush? I know you. Yuriku! You fought him literally the last floor, Sora. Come on. Gee, thanks for remembering me. It's been, what, a couple of hours? <laughs> Thank you, Riku! <laughs> uh, never mind. Are you okay? Are you still under his control? Uh, what are you talking about? I get it. You must be the Riku from my memories. The Riku from my memories? Sounds like you're stuck in the land of make-believe. I guess I kind of am. Haha, <laughs> you're such a kid. How are you gonna take care of her if you act like that? So you know where she is? I've been... What's happening? How should I know? Whatever it is, it can't be good. I'm gonna go warn the others. Then I should go. I know, I know, it's your job to look after her. Get look so good going! Okay. And we get the Key of Guidance. Well, that was quite the fan. That takes me back here. Nice. I can load up on more Moogle points. Aha! Key to rewards! 
I'm gonna move on ahead, I think. Until I can reach Key of Rewards. Let's use Sleeping Darkness. Four or higher. Also, using Meeting Ground in this world does nothing! Because Meeting Ground only w really works if you have friend cards, which I do not. Here's a free card pack, Koopo! Lionheart, Divine Rose, Pumpkin Hedge, Metal Chocobo, Spellbinder. Alright. Here's the key rewards. Ferdy Free Blue! Ferdy Free Red. Ferdy Free Green. Ferdy Free Green is going to be harder because green cards I feel like don't drop nearly as often as they should. And key to rewards. So that used a ton of map cards. And we get a Mega Elixir for that. Mega Elixir is pretty much the ultimate item. It recovers all of your mag uh, magic cards, all your summon cards, all your attack cards, even if you lost them in slates or they were premium cards, and it resets the reload counter. It's also really expensive to equip. Ooh, another level up. Nice. I believe at this point in the game, there are no more slates for us to do, so we can only ever level up HP or CP. I'm gonna level up HP some more, because my CP is incredibly high, and there aren't really a whole lot of cards that I need to equip anymore. I am equipping deck number two in preparation for the boss. Because we're about to fight the boss. We need a bunch of cards that total 50 points. And here we go. The island's breaking up! Remember this guy? Yeah, we get to fight Darkseid. Now look at how much HP he has. Yeah. We've only seen the HP bars go up into the blue before. This guy goes up into red which is above yellow, which you hadn't even seen before. And this is our Sonic Blade deck, but Sonic Blade is not effective against this guy, most regrettably. Basically wait for his fist to come down and then just beat him up. We also have the Soldier card whenever we want. So Dark Side is pretty much as easy as he always has been. Maybe a bit tougher in this. But really the only in the main intimidation factor is just the sheer amount of HP he has. Yeah, it's a pretty long, boring fight, unfortunately. As Dark Side always is. Perhaps I should have equipped the Dragon Maleficent card, which increases my power. Here, here, here. 
So we actually want him to attack. Because if he does, well, then he's actually wide open for <laughs> you attacking him. And as you can see, we're already almost getting him into the boy range. And this is where having just a deck filled with a bunch of attack cards helps out. Because Sonic Blade and a lot most slates just are not effective against him. This is where I like having my deck of zeros nearby. To just instantly break anything he has coming at me. I will reload my deck. Now I'm going to equip the soldier card, which increases my combo length. Ooh, less for free reloads. That's pretty nice. Alright. I mean, it's, it's flashy, it's not super practical, I guess. But I'm glad I'm at least getting to show it off. Come at me, bro. So yeah, you're not really in any danger of getting killed by this guy, but it's an incredibly long, tedious fight. Also, the wind is gradually blowing me to the right. Which is a little annoying. Just make sure you have a deck filled with high value attack cards and you will be just fine. Come on, Dark Side. Alright, he's on his last bar of HP at last. Dark Side is literally the epitome of easy, just tedious. And now my combo plus ability's gone, but that's fine. Just be ready to break his cards if necessary, or just let him attack when it needs to. And he's so close to being dead. I like keeping my zero cards close to the top of my deck for just that situation. Here. 
Come on, dark side. Now, one thing is, most of my attack cards are relatively low-powered Keyblade cards, which is part of why this is taking so long. But I like low uh, lower-powered Keyblade cards because they take way less CP to equip. Goodbye, dark side. I wish you were less of a grind. That's just the way it goes sometimes. And we get the dark side card. And we got a level up. Let's level up HP. This is the part of the game we're going to start leveling up HP a bit more. Just in case. I have to keep her safe. Namine, can you hear me? Namine. Sora. You came for me. Namine! Finally! I've been through so much just to see you. I could say the same. But I messed up. I really wanted to see you, but not like this. Not like what? I was alone for so long, I couldn't bear it anymore. So I beckoned your heart to lead you here. And I'm so glad you found me. But your heart, I had to... No, it's okay. I promised I'd protect you. That's why I came. Thank you. Oh, Sora, forgive me. I'm not supposed to be in this picture. She's right. Oh, this is creepy. Nominee? That's not me. I'm not in your heart. I'm not in anyone's heart. I never have been. What? What are you saying, Namine? What's gotten into you? We were inseparable. But then I lost you. I came here so I'd never lose you again. Was it really me you came for? Of course it was! I may have forgotten fiends in this castle, but not you! Look! You gave me this, didn't you? You still have it! My good luck charm! No, Sora! Don't believe me! What am I supposed to do? Think, Sora. Think of the person who's most special to you. See that faint glimmer away in the back of your heart? That's a piece of your memory, Sora. Call out to it. No matter how far away the light gets, your heart's voice will always reach it. This has got to be messing up Sora of an awful. <laughs> but I already know who's most special to me. It's you, no. Ooh, nice GBA 3D graphics. It's Kyrie. Who? Who was that? I can't remember her, but she seems so familiar. Yeah, Sora's memory's messed up something awful now. Wait, what about Namine? Where did she go? Obtained Oathkeeper. Oh, that's right. We get Oathkeeper at the end. So, where is it? Ah, uh, yep. Oathkeeper. Is this, you remember this. B plus attack. So, it's a pretty good attack. Actually, it's just great all around, but it's also expensive to equip. And in other news, we also got Dark Side. Copy the enemy card your opponent is using. So, if you're going up against, like, a boss who's using, say, the Jafar card, you use the Dark Side card, you get the ability of the Jafar card that they're using. But it takes 99 CP, which is the maximum amount you can get equipped. So, no to that. Alright. So, now we're about to face quite possibly the toughest battle in the game up here so make sure you've got a deck well equipped for that and use that save point if you're not ready first time i played for this i died to this next boss like 50 times nominee it 
It's not you. The person most special to me. It's not you. No. The girl you care about. The one who is always with you. It's not me. It's her. But who is she? I just... I can't think of her name. If she's so special to me, why can't I remember? It's because I went into your memories and... Let me explain this. Plain and simple, your memory is a train wreck. You're not the one who's meant to protect Naminé. I am. But you and your messed up memories always get in the way. We get to fight Riku for the fourth time. He has free HP bars now. And we're going to implement the same strategy we did before. Sonic Blade him like crazy. He also has access to a really, 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 really powerful slate called Dark Aura. If he does that, you basically need a zero card to break it, because it has a, a 27 attack value. And if you don't break it, you're going to lose pretty much all your HP. Here it is. Break it. This is why I have the zero cards at the top of my deck. <laughs> This is also part of the reason why I'm upgrading my HP now, because if he hits you, it actually hurts quite a bit. But as long as we can get into the rhythm of Sonic Boiding him a lot, he's still not that bad. But the most important part of this battle to make it easier is just to have a set amount of zero cards at the top of your deck. Because I did not when I first played this, and he kept using Dark Aura, and it was a bad time. Actually, that was a really low value Dark Aura. Holy cow. I thought it took like three nines to use. So imagine trying to do this without Sonic Void. Feel like giving up yet? <laughs> also, he can stun you occasionally with his zero cards. Nice. I was able to use my high potion in a slate to bring back all of my sonic blades. Dark R is the uh, that special move he uses in Kingdom Hearts 1. But you like can't block and it's ridiculous to dodge. That's the one. Die, Riku! And that's the last time we have to fight Riku, thank goodness. And we get the Riku card! And that is a really, really good enemy card. But also very expensive. So if we want, we can actually uh, go to it. Riku, keep cards used in slates available for reloading. So you don't lose the cards that you stock. But it only lasts for like four slates or something. So it's actually not as good as you might think. So we can go forward, but you could also go back to the save point if you want. And trust me, this next boss that we're going to fight is also really hard. Riku! Want some more? Sora! Riku, why? Looks like I win. Stop! Riku, no! You're through, you fake! I said stop! R Riku? Riku! Riku! What did you do? What did you do to Riku? She broke his heart. More like smashed it, really. She smashed? But that means he's... he's... <laughs> you're so much fun to watch! If it's Riku you're worried about, then worry no longer. Riku was never here. What do you mean? You want me to tell you? Gee, I don't know. I just hate spoilers. Oh, come on. Marxine would be the lady who, like, posts on her YouTube channel, like, thumbnails that spoil all the, like, plot twists from games. Quit playing games! Alright, have it your way. 
It'll kill you to hear this, but I can live with that. Okay, hearing her say in the re-chain of memories, have it your way, is hilarious because, again, the same actress who does the Wendy's commercials. <laughs> that fiend lying there is a puppet vexen made, nothing more than a toy. It's laughable, really. It called you a fake, but it was the fabrication all along. A fake? A fake Riku? Fake in every way. It was only finished recently, and without any past, how could it remember anything? Its memories with Naminé were planted, not real. All this time, it's been picking fights with you over bogus memories. Isn't that right, Naminé? Behind that cute little face, you do some awful things. Holy cow, Mark Seen is like twice the height of Naminé, that's crazy. No, not Naminé. You are so stupid, don't you get it? Messing with people's memories is all about all she's good at. She steps into people's hearts and rearranges their memory. If she wants, she can even draw new memories of things that never happened. The girl, who you've been dying to protect, is a manipulative witch who shackles people's hearts with phony memories. That my memory, everything I remember, it's... Lies, lies, all lies, an illusion Naminé made. Binding you in the chains of your own memory was central to our trap. It makes me tingle just of how easily you were duped. This was our chance to make the Keyblade Master our puppet. We nearly had you, but that jerk Axel used Naminé to wreck everything. He betrayed us. You'll pay. Don't... Excuse me? It's a little late to grow a conscience, witch. Last I checked, you're the one who got him into this mess. I know, but... I should tell you that I'm in an extremely foul mood. Thanks to you, all our plans are toast. Naminé! What, what, what? Do I detect distress? You don't even know her. Maybe not, but I still made a promise. I promised Naminé I'd keep her safe. Maybe my memories are fake, but they're still mine, and I'm going to be true to them. What an idiot! There is no promise. There never was. You are delusional. Must you insist on playing the hero? Oh, whatever. It's your funeral. Nighty night, you sham. Oh, snap! You have to go for us! Donald, Goofy, you came back? Of course we came back. We were worried about you. We weren't about to let you have all the fun yourself. Right, it's always been the three of us. And it always will be. Got it, Lark Scene? Have it your way. Frice the pain for you means frice the fun for me. And now we get to kill Arxane. She also has free bars of HP, and she also has incredibly high-valued cards and very powerful slates to deal a lot of damage. But again, the Sonic Void strategy is really, really good. <laughs> if she ever breaks your Sonic Blade with a slate of her own, use a zero card. And I've got to say, Marxina's the most satisfying character to destroy in this series, pretty much. She's so annoying. We also get our Donald and Goofy cards back. Oh, that's her nasty ability, Teleport Rush. Had to use those cards to get back on my Sonic Blade kick. Well, we got one bar of her HP down, and we still have both of our high potions, which is great. I also now have completed one bar of my own HP. As you can see, I've got the inkling of a second bar. Yes, got my Sonic Voids back. Her slates are really, really annoying, so you 
definitely want to break them, either with a zero card or with your own Sonic Blades. And this is where it's really annoying that you can't play cards while you're taking damage. Come on, heal me, Donald. Thank you! No! Beat her up, Goofy. Excellent. Alright. My HP's back on point. Let's keep Sonic waiting her. Oh, trapping her in Sonic Void while she's reloading is also really satisfying. And I still love this song. It's really nice. Die! She's also a really tough fight. But we beat her, and we get the Lark Scene card now. Which is not very good. No! No! I refuse to lose to a bunch of losers! I'm... I'm fading? No! This isn't the way I... I won't allow... Too late. Gorsh, you must be Nomine. We're friends of Sora. I'm... Goofy, I know. And this is Donald. Gee, how'd you know? Congratulations, Sora! You finally found your friend! Ooh, this is awkward. Hmm, where to begin? Nomine, I know it's not easy, but could you tell us what's going on? I don't mind. It's my fault, after all. I took the people and memories in Sora's heart, and little by little replaced them with false memories that I made. So the promise Sora made to keep you safe? It was all a lie. Sora never promised me anything. Me being on the islands, that was a lie too. This is our first meeting. I was never Sora's friend. You were never anything more than that, either. I'm sorry. In your true memories, I was never there. So you're the reason the rest of us lost our memories, too. Can we ever get them back? Not right away. If we go to the 13th floor, I can fix everything. But Marluxia... Is that the person who made you tamper with our memories? He said he'd keep me locked away in this castle forever if I didn't obey. I've been alone for so long. So you did as you were told because you were lonely? I'm... I'm so sorry. Don't be. Please don't cry. I know. I don't have the right. That's not what I meant! <sighs> Look, I'm really not happy about you screwing around with my memories. But you know, I can't really get mad at you, Ivor. These memories you gave me... In my head I know they're lies, but they still feel right. Like my promise. I said I'd protect you, that I wouldn't make you cry. So if you cry now, I feel guilty, like I let you down somehow. So please, don't cry. Don't apologize. Until I get my memory back, smile, laugh, be happy. That's easier on me that way. Sora... Goofy, don't you think he's laying it on a bit thick? <laughs> yes, Donald. I don't know, Sora's always were like this around girls. <laughs> Yuck. Shut up, you two. I thought you lost your memories. Friends don't forget things like that. Give me a break. Hehe. <laughs> there, that's it. That's the nominee I remember. I used to really like it when you smiled. I mean, in my fake memory. 
But what I'm feeling now isn't fake, it's real. You're sweet, Sora. Well, we've still got work to do. Yeah, let's go get our memory back! Marvusha is up there, so you better stay here, Naminé. Goofy's right. Could you look after Riku for me? We'll come get you after this is over. Okay. Be careful, Sora. I'll be fine, I promise. Obtained Oblivion. Oh, yeah. So that's Oblivion. You remember that amazing looking Keyblade? It has A attack. It's really, really powerful. And also really, really expensive. We also got the Larxene card. Increases your running speed. It also costs 60 CP. Not worth it. You're a nice guy. Why? It's a secret. <laughs> yeah. What if we have to face Axel and Marusha? What indeed? I wish I could help Riku. I'm the one who made him suffer. Blim! 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 <laughs> Don't forget I beat you. <laughs> Castle Oblivion, 13th floor. Alright, so they say the same things. That's all the time we have for this episode. Thanks for watching. I'm Color 40. Next episode should be the last one, even if it's definitely going to be on the home side. We have to tackle the last floor of Castle Oblivion. Hope to see you then. Until we meet again, have a great day, and God bless.